with Dr. David Blumenthal, the National Coordinator of Health Information Technology. Thanks for joining me. My pleasure. So first, we have heard some considerable anxiety around meaningful use and the criteria and implementing EHR. Can you first remind us kind of, of the overall goal of this EHR transition? Well, the overall goal is to improve patient care. The overall goal is to improve patient health and to improve the efficiency of care. And there's nothing in the meaningful use framework which is, isn't related directly to a core health care goal or a function, whether it's improving quality or efficiency or whether it's improving care coordination. Everything there has a purpose. The first stage of meaningful use, we want people to get data into electronic form. Later stages of meaningful use will focus more on releasing the value of that data through health information exchange, through decision support. I think that folks who practice in small groups and manage small groups will find that once they get over the hump, and we know there's a hump, but once they get over the hump, that the electronic record adds so much value to the daily work of a physician, to the daily work of a nurse, that there will be no going back, and that they'll be on an escalator toward more and more beneficial uses of these technologies, and they'll be part of the 21st century revolution instead of holding back from it. Right. So, not to lose sight of that. That's right. So, you know, it's really hard to move when you need to, when your lease is up. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to redesign your office. There are many disruptive things that we do in our lives that we know we have to do. This is one of them. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes sense. Now, the, the meaningful use criteria that were released in July um, that outlined the core requirements and some of these um, optional requirements that practices need to meet for this EHR is into funding. I understand that you that ONC is working on a clarification of some of those criteria. What's the status of that? Well, what we're working on, actually, with, with the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services is a set of detailed specifications, a cookbook, if you will, for how to uh, figure out whether you're meeting the criteria, what the documentation has to be, how to attest, all those nitty-gritty steps. Uh, we think the attestation is going to be fairly straightforward. Uh, a lot of people worry about the so-called PQRI experience. This is going to be completely different. It's going to be based on what doctors and nurses enter themselves into the computer, not what the claims data six or eight months later show you the computer. So, and people will get very rapid feedback on whether they have met the meaningful use criteria. Okay, great, that's important. So tell me what you are hearing from practices that are working towards the meaningful use criteria that are, that are implementing an EHR and that are kind of trying to get over this hump. What are you hearing from them and, and what can you say to them? Well, we're hearing that what we've heard for many years about electronic health records, which is that it's confusing, it's hard to make a choice, it's not clear um, what the best system is. Mm -hmm. um, and in the middle of it, that people are frustrated and, and uh, difficult to find mm -hmm. we're, But we also have talked to hundreds and hundreds of clinicians who have gone through that come out the other side, and now would never give up their electronic system. Mm -hmm. Now, they all can think of ways to improve it, and we expect that they will, that the records will improve. We expect that the records will improve faster and faster now that uh, there's so much interest in it. Mm -hmm. uh, and also now that there are goals, three years, basically the performance goals right. that they have to do. Instead of just trying to reproduce the paper record, which is sort of what has been done in the past, they now are being oriented toward, we think, value added the services, value added to the physicians and hospitals, value added for patients. And so those that have been through it are seeing that value. Yes. That's probably very even encouraging. In the, even in the older world, the records that were not, I think, as adapted and as powerful as the records that are going to be coming through, now that meaningful use criteria have been specified. What resources are out there for practices that are going through this and that need help implementing or meeting the criteria or just getting a little bit of assistance? So for practices of 10 or fewer, our regional extension centers are being put in place to provide them technical help. Okay. They're focusing initially on primary care and on underserved areas and rural areas. 
So if you're a small practice, you should go to the Boston National Coordinator website um, and, and find out which, what's the recent extension center in your area. And there's, there's one for every area of the United States. Okay. And some of them are getting started, so they may be a little bit slow, mm -hmm. um, but they're with them. Um, their job is to help, help the practices out there that are most of the Great. That's a great resource. Well, thank you for your time. Thank it's you. It's been very helpful. I appreciate Pleasure. it. Pleasure.